for repentance, or if he got salvation, where put like this, if he's doing this thing correctly up to 40 years, and he all of a sudden said, Little, I'm going to do something different. For one year, or for 30 days, all that he done for 40 years is gone. Or she done for 40 years is gone. It will not be mentioned. He remembers the sin. If you don't get that sin forgiven, if I don't get that sin forgiven, guess what? I'm going to backslide. I'll backslide back into the world. Go ahead. That was it. Go ahead. Yet he said, the way of the Lord is not equal. Here now. See, when most people hear this, they're like, man, that ain't right. Man, that ain't right. I did this for 40 years because I messed up for 30 days. I can't make it in. That's what he said. I didn't write the rules. We didn't write the rules. He said, yeah, he said, the way of the Lord is not equal. Go ahead. Hear now, O house of Israel. Is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? Yes, sir. When the righteous man <laughs> turned away from righteousness and committed, committed iniquity and died in them for his iniquity, iniquity that he had done, shall he die. See what he says? If you committed iniquity or committed sin and die in them, because we got in our mind, I'm going to do this sin and then I'm going to ask God for forgiveness. But you ain't thinking, I might die when I do this sin and I'm going to die in my righteousness. I'm going to die in my wickedness. There's no more repentance for that. I, I'm just marvel how people say the person that can kill himself might have an opportunity to get in. He died of the witness. Go ahead. Again, when the wicked man turned away from his wickedness that he had, had committed and threw of that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Yes, sir, because it ain't no time limit for you to get it right. You get it right on your last day, on your last breath. Hey Amen. You in there. I'm in there. But if you get it wrong on your last day, or last breath, all that what you have done righteous is gone. It won't even be mentioned. Because you backslided. You let the, your crown got away from you. I let my crown got away from me. Because this thing is a marathon. There ain't no sprint. We got to keep this thing at an even pace right here. Let me show reason more. Go ahead. <laughs> because he considered and turned away from all his transgressions that he had committed. He shall surely live. He shall not die. Yes, sir. Because he considered. And for God told us that our people don't even consider what they're doing is sin. He said, an ox knows home, a donkey. Well, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 1. He said, well, Israel don't even know where he come from. Meaning that everybody else knows where they're supposed to be. Even the animals know where they're supposed to be at the right time. But Israel, you tell them, where are you supposed to be on church day? Sunday worship? Where are you supposed to be on the Passover? I don't know, Pastor got it second Sunday, third Sunday. Now we know it's the 14th day of the first month in the evening, at right, the springtime. We know this. But these people don't even consider it at all. Go ahead. 29. Yet said the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his way. His ways, said the Lord God. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your your work, your ruin. He tell it is. So sin won't be a one or give you be a merciful, give you a little time to get it right. Right. Repent. Go get baptized. Repent. Get in that water because God wants to heap on covenant people. You ain't been baptized. I ain't been baptized. We ain't need no covenant. You might come up in the second resurrection, huh? That's why I tell people it's very important. You got to be baptized unless you're a child and don't understand. But this is what he tells you. You got to be in the covenant so you won't be ruined and I won't be ruined. And once we get in the covenant, we got to hold fast to, to the laws. We got to make sure we do them. And when we sin, repent quickly. Because we don't want to get that reprobated mind like, I got time. I got time. That's when you got a reprobated mind. That's when I got a reprobated mind. Ain't no time wait for nobody. I can go, I can leave out this shop right now, walk down and get in my car and have an accident and kill and get and die. Nobody got time. We don't know our last breath. That's right. 
We don't. And that's how serious this is. So we won't backslide. Go ahead. 31. Cast away from you from you all your transgressions, mm -hmm. whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die in the house of Israel? He said, cast away, man. Transgression. Make your, when you say new heart, make your mind right. And it's hard dealing with this mind because we, we put so much information from TV, social media, all this stuff in our mind in the course of a week. And you try to use this one little Sabbath day to push all that sin out. It's hard to do that. It's hard. So we got to make sure we get a little of this every day. Every day. God said, why would you die in your sin, O house of Israel? And we are after his eye. Go ahead. For I have no pleasure, no pleasure in the death of him that died. Mm -hmm. Save the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. God ain't got no pleasure in killing the wickedest person in the world. Some of the people that we think are wicked, I guarantee you, and the, when the resurrection come up, some of the Israelites are going to be scared of Paul. Because Paul killed a lot of the Israelites. He used to go to churches and kill them and rob from them. And they're going to see Paul in there and say, hey, he the one with the Stephen died. He the one killed this man. They're like, hey, he got it right. I met him on the road to Damascus. He got him right. So Paul will be in there. Yeah, I guarantee a lot of people are going to say, man, why, why, why Paul here? Let's go to Revelation chapter 3. Uh, oh, yeah. Second Thessalonians. Yeah, Second Thessalonians. On your game, James. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. And this is the time we're in right now where it's a great falling away. It's a great falling away. Believe me. If you got a congregation, of Israel, somebody who teach the truth, man, strengthen them. Strengthen them, your brothers and sisters, strengthen them, because it's very few of us. If y'all need me, y'all know how to get in contact with me. I'm gonna do my best to be there for you. Believe that. Because y'all are my family. Don't never think you can't call on me for help. Never. Just don't call on me with all that talking that way. <laughs> but you call on me for help. <clears throat> I'm going to be there because that's my job. But this is where we at today right here. This is a great backslide that's going to happen. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 1. Go ahead. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. Yes, sir. That ye be not soon shaken in mind mm -hmm. or be troubled. Neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. He tell him, don't be shaken about all this stuff you read, because a lot of stuff I used to read, it shook, it shook me. I'm like, man, I hope I'm, I used to say, man, I hope I'm dead. Because this stuff is going to be hard if we ain't in the right place, which is the wilderness. But go ahead. Three, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. He said, let no man deceive you, because by no means, for that day shall come, except there come a falling away, and the man of sin going to be revealed. Which is, the woman they build that third temple in Jerusalem, the man of sin going to come into that temple and say, he's God. He said, but we know when he comes to that temple, we jetting out of here. So we understand that he said going to be a great falling away. Many, many people are not going to see this as being harmful at all. Because they done fell away. They done backslidden to the world. It's going to be peace. Peaceful for a little while. And you know the scripture say, peace, peace, and sudden destruction going to hit. And that's when the tribulation period going to hit. But we're going to be trying our best to get out of here. So I want to make sure everybody understands. It's going to be, we are in that time right now with a great falling away. Right now they did this thing over in Jerusalem. On, on, I shared on my Facebook account about how they uh, about how they uh, uh, 
are burning the red heifer. And what Jerusalem did, what Israel did when they burnt the red heifer, in Numbers chapter, I think Numbers chapter 22 or Numbers chapter 11, when they burnt the red heifer, they used to sacrifice the temple, I mean, um, sanctify the temple or, 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 or put blood on the temple to uh, acknowledge that's the place of the temple. And what these people doing now, they burn the red heifer, sacrificing on the land that the temple is supposed to be built on. And they are in the process of, of getting that land. That's why I tell you, it's right now, we're living in that time where the great falling away. And when they build that temple, they start building the temple, I'm getting my stuff together. And they don't come up on me like a thief in the night. Because I see it. You hear most people saying, Christ can come as a thief in the night. No, Christ can come to you as a thief in the night because you don't understand the signs. You have backslidden back to Christmas. To Sunday worship, to Easter, to Easter bunnies and eggs and all that. We understand when that third temple is built, hey, it's time to jet. And he's saying it right here. Read some more, verse 4. Who, who opposeth and exalt himself above all that is called God? Yes, sir. Or what is worship? Or, or that is worship? Mm -hmm. Or say that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So you tell me what this man is saying is going to do other the son of perdition. perdition. Well, that temple, he's going to come into that temple, he's going to say, look, y'all stop the man from sacrificing right now. The faith of Levitical priest right now, they're going to train them to offer animal sacrifice. They're going to reinstitute animal sacrifices. And then when the man is saying, come on to say, he's going to look, Christ is here now. Because the real Jews know, the real Jews don't believe in Jesus being black. At all, period. They're looking for the white man. And the white man will come out of the Catholic Church, which is going to be the man of sin. And when he comes to the temple of God and say he God, y'all stop them sacrificing. A lot of them won't believe that he actually is Christ. But we don't believe that. I don't care what they're doing, I'm gone. Go ahead. Uh, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you these things. Go ahead. And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. In his time. This is going to be the great fall away, the great backsliding of the nation of Israel. We are backsliding all the way back. Only the, well, some of us don't even haven't even had the opportunity to learn anything to be backslidden. But they're going to get an opportunity to learn. So we got to make sure we don't fall in under this category right here, meaning the great falling away, backsliding back to the world. It's hard, and I ain't going to tell you no lie. If you, you don't study and know what's at stake here, which is that crown. Don't let nobody take your crown. Let's stop. In Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3. Verse 11. Read verse 2. Yeah, read verse 2. Go ahead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. Mm -hmm. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. He told his people to be watchful. Strengthen the things that are ready to die. Meaning that some of us going to die. Serving God. Go ahead. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Now did that say Christ is coming as a thief in the night? He said, if, the word there, if you don't watch, I will come to you as a thief in the night. But he's not going to come to me as a thief in the night. I don't know about y'all, I know what to do and when he's almost about to come. I don't know the exact date or time. But we know when we get in that wilderness, he's coming. But he can't come tomorrow. He can't come the next day. Let them go build the third temple. The man said going to sit in the temple of God the next day. All this stuff got to be fulfilled. And, and back in the day when I was young, I used to be scared. Like, man, Christ can come any time. I got to be repentant, repentant, repentant. But they never teach me what sin was. 
But I was trying. He seen. That's why he got me here today. Go ahead. Well, that I mean, thou hast a few names even in service. How many? A few. A few. It's only a few that gonna make it. Go ahead. And sorry, this which have not defiled their garments. What is garment? You ain't defiled your body with all this unclean food, with all this fornication and adultery, with all this stuff of lying, stealing, and killing, defiling your garments, which is sin. You ain't defiling. You ain't backslidden into the world. You holding fast to your crown. Go ahead. And they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Mm. What is he walking away? We gods then. Your body has been transformed in being a god then. Go ahead. He that overcome me, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Mm -hmm. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. So God said, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I take care of you. I'm going to tell God, he cool. He got the blood of Jesus. Hey, give him his body. Get Jeffrey's body. Get Corey's body. Give him all his body to keep my, keep my laws in the congregation. That's my hope. All of us make it. But some people's minds are not even here at all. But when that pain hit their mind, they're going to be saying, oh, what, what am I supposed to do? We've been teaching this stuff for I don't know how long. You sit up there thinking it's a game? Even in on you, Facebook, YouTube, and all this stuff, they listen to me all the time. They think it's a game. But when he hit you, oh, you gonna try to remember, and you're like, all oh, I'm saying, I'm trying to forgive myself for it's almost like cramming for a final exam in one night. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work if you ain't holding on to it. But if you genuinely, it will work. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say it ain't gonna work totally. Oh, we know about the thief on the cross, but it's going to be hard. Go ahead. Six. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. What did he say? Jump down to verse 11. Go ahead. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Two he said, don't let no man take your crown. What crown? Salvation. Don't let him take it. Anybody, don't let him take it. Don't let them pull you from the laws. Don't let them. Go ahead. Him, well, him that uh, overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. That's what I want. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. Hmm. And the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. New name. So his name is Yahshua Lee. His name ain't Yehoshua. His name ain't Jesus then? No. It's a new name. It's going to be a new language. Everything. These people just so foolish with these names. If you speak in Hebrew, if you speak Israel, hey, speak it. If his name is Hebrew, his name is, his name is uh, uh, Yahshua in Hebrew, speak. But don't try to make me speak it. I speak English. I don't speak our language. If I come in speaking Hebrew to y'all, y'all gonna say, I can't understand you, Jeff. Because most of y'all don't know the language of Hebrew. All of, none of y'all don't know the language of Hebrew, but a few words. But this is what these people try to get us to our own brothers. Who the back slid into their forefathers back in the day, the Pharisees and Sadducees. If you don't say the name of Jesus in, 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 the, in the Hebrew language, you can't be saved. Come on, man. Who created the languages? You think he can't interpret his language? Where you get that from? Find your, your teacher. That's what you need to do. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. This is what we got to hear. All of this. Don't backslide, y'all. They're going to end the lesson. I say it a little longer than I want to say it. But we're going to take up the offering. Anybody got anything to give? You come up. We'll read the announcements. The title of the lesson was Backsliding from the Crown. <laughs>